so again, you know, everybody's a kicker, so everyone's got these not sort of flashy kicks going on. And when you're going up against a guy this sort of size and that sort of power, okay, people tend to stay on the outside. If you can just throw your kick dodge, okay, because the last thing you want to do is get caught by one of these. But if you think about it, to get in there and spoil somebody's work like boxers do all the time, you need to know the fire's work. So as soon as he goes to throw that, straight in there and catching that leg and taking that leg down. Well, I was not expecting that. <laughs> it will completely nullify him, it will completely take his balance off. You can see what he's going for as soon as he turns. So seize okay, seizing that leg and then just hooking your leg around and taking him down. Okay, we'll take him straight off balance and obviously you've got your counters to it as well. So it's just basically looking at the hip rotation. Okay, and take him down. Now you can't use your left leg or your right leg to take him down. But it's, it's basically catch. It's a game of catch, not being scared to get caught. Once he's in, I move myself off into a sad position. So if I show that again, okay, you can see straight away with his hip movement, a catch there is very simply done. Okay, so then you'll see if, uh, if you can face this way, please, and you can start that kick. Stop. Okay, so see, as soon as you see this leg movement, you know he's going to do a spin technique. So, okay, from there, he turned, and he's straight down. And you can't be afraid of taking a shot in a fight anyway. So again, as he goes to throw, and he's down. And if I need to, then I've got an after strike as well.